Hello everyone, and in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to deform this short 3D model easily the best way possible without losing any viewport performance. And this is the part 3 of creating a short 3D product animation in Blender. So let's get started. Okay, so here I have a shoe model. You can model this uh, from my shoe modeling tutorial. If you haven't followed it, you can follow that and model this shoe here. So what I wanna do is First, let me explain you what we are doing here. So, let's say if we have a shoe model just like that. And it's got a lot of geometry, a lot of vertices at different areas with different density. So if we apply any rigs or any deforming stuff here, it's not gonna work perfectly fine because the mesh is not ready for that. It's not just one mesh. We have different objects and stuff like that going on. So I think these options are not gonna work for you. So what I'll do is I'll make a cage around all these meshes which has a perfectly fine topology and everything is just one mesh so what i'm saying is we will model a cage around all these sole and the body of the shoe i hope i'm making sense here let's just let's just do it you'll soon understand what we're doing here create a cube here and model some cage mesh around this whole shoe so let's add a cube and position it so basically i'm just modeling a cage around the shoe right there hit tab and create the vertices If just a little bit of the shoe is outside of the cage, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna add a loop cut here. It's more of the basic shape here. Now I'm gonna add a subdivisional surface here with the levels of something like 2 and make sure to trap the whole mesh in there. If some part is going out, scale it a little bit more and fit it inside. And we can see these are coming out, so bring them down. No one will go to the wireframe mode or select this mesh, go to the object properties and in the viewport display make it from textured or the solid to wire. And now we get some cage like that. So I'm gonna create my own armature here. I'm gonna bring these bones back. I'm just quickly creating the armature here. Extruding the bones just like that and extrude one more here duplicate this one rotate it Then I'm gonna go to the object mode again select the cage mesh then select the armature control P and with automatic weights and You can see we got no problems. So let's go to the rig and see if it's working 
make sure to make it in front in the report display so that we can see things better and hit control tab to go to the pose mode and just sort of rotate these bones and see if things are working yep it's working now the next step is to catch all these vertices or the sole and the body mesh in this cage and sort of control the, the geometry with this armature you will understand what i'm saying here select the sole mesh here so i'll bring down the subdivision levels of the sole mesh to something like two and then i'll add a mesh deform modifier and in the object i'm gonna select the cage that we've created usually i'm gonna rename it to cage so that you don't get confused and i'm gonna click on bind then we're gonna select our body mesh here and add a modifier the mesh deform modifier select the cage here and hit bend now if we select our armature and go to the pose mode and rotate this bone along the y-axis you can see now you can see that we got a little bit of an issue here which is why i was repeating not to cross the cage mesh with this shoe here so i'm gonna just hit ctrl z and go back a little bit and fix that before before we bend it so select that, unbend it, select the cage here and go to the scope mode. Get the gray brush with G and bring these vertices back a little bit so that it's not intersecting with our shoe. You can also do that in edit mode, just select these vertices and bring them back along the Y axis, just like that. And then again, I'm gonna hit bend. And select this one too and hit bend on that one because we unbended it with ctrl z so hit bend on that one now select the armature and hit ctrl tab to go to the pose mode now rotate it along the y-axis to see what's happening here you can see the bending is working properly it's just so good the geometry is deforming perfectly you can see here now you can just grab these armatures these bones and affect the whole shoe with it and just look at the viewport performance it's very smoother than any technique that you wanted to use here so let me just explain you again what we are doing here is we got a cage mesh here we are affecting the cage mesh with the armature and the cage mesh is affecting our whole shoe model here just like that and these things work together properly without any issues so if you're seeing any vertices coming out any faces of this whole cage then the problem is your caging here you can go back to edit mode and just sort of grab these vertices outside make sure the shoe is inside the cage if uh, a little part of it is coming out it's not gonna work properly for you so every time you wanna edit the cage here you can select these models and unbend them then edit the cage and then again bend them and yeah that's it for this tutorial and in the next one we are going to do some simulations and soft body stuff make sure to support me on patreon thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one